What's up guys, Albert here with Ballista Archery, and today we are going to discuss the anatomy of a crossbow, specifically the bat. Now this is a compound pistol crossbow, and there are two styles of crossbows. There are compound crossbows and, and recurve crossbows. The biggest difference between a compound crossbow and a recurve crossbow is going to be in the limbs, or in the cams, excuse me. Now, a traditional recurve style crossbow has limbs that just attach to either side and you pull it back and you're good to go. However, to acquire more power, you have to have longer limbs and a longer power stroke. However, with a compound pistol or with a compound crossbow, you got cams that the string attaches to, which adds the length of the string, which means that there's more power with a shorter power stroke and you can also have shorter limbs. So that's when you get this little guy right here. So we're gonna start with the front end of the crossbow and work our way back. So in the very front, we have the foot stirrup. Now this is what you step onto if you need help cocking back the crossbow. Now this is a very easy crossbow to cock back, however, if you have a shoulder injury or if you're just not able to, you can always step on this foot stirrup and cock it back. Almost all crossbows have this. Now, I'm gonna move on to the riser. The riser is what connects the limbs to the barrel of the crossbow, right here. Now the limbs, these are the limbs right here. These are 120 pound limbs and these are called split limbs. That's another difference with a compound crossbow versus a recurve crossbow. A recurve crossbow typically just has one limb on either side. This has two limbs on either sides. And in between the two limbs, you got the cam. Now a cam acts like a pulley and you're able to um, draw more weight with less effort. Now attached to the cams, you got your string and you got your cables. Now the string, this is the main, um, well, it's the main string that you draw back and you load the bolt in and that's what projects, pushes out the bolt. Now the cables help assist with drawing the bow and they help keeping the bolt uh, drawn back. The string gets cocked back, the cables do not. Now let's talk about maintenance really quick. You do have to do maintenance on your string and cables. Um, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is add a little bit of wax and, wax and that really prolongs the life of the string. We recommend every 20 to 30 shots. And then with the cams, you don't have to wax them as much. Um, maybe every 100 shots, you can wax them. All right, now that we got the strings and cams out of the way, Let's talk about the main body. The main body, what you see right here, this is the barrel, I already mentioned it. So on top of the barrel, you can see there's a groove running through it. And that groove is a groove track. This is what you load the bolt into, like that. And it helps perfectly maintain the bolt straight. It aligns the bolt with the string and makes sure that it keeps it on track, allowing for more consistent shooting. Now back here, you can see this little tongue looking thing. Now this tongue is a retention spring and that's what holds the bolt down. So if you're moving around or walking around or whatever it may be, this tongue is what allows the bolt to remain in its original position without it sliding out or moving around. So it's very important. If you move further back, there is, you can't see it right now, but when you cock it back, you can see something goes down and that's the latch. That's what latches the string down and prevents the bow from just releasing automatically. So when you pull it back, that latch goes down and the crossbow is cocked, right? When you hit the trigger, that latch opens up and the string is, all the tension, all the pressure from the string is released, pushing the bolt out. So if you continue back from the latch, then you got the safety. Whenever you cock it back, as soon as you cock it back, the safety is automatically engaged. 
the same way the latch is. So as soon as that latch goes down, the safety is engaged. Now the safety prevents um, any accidental fire, accidental shots uh, from being fired. And, and it's on safety, it's just pushed out, pushed out just like this. And to take it off safety, you just push it in and you're ready to go. Now, if we move down, you can see this right here. This is a trigger guard. This is the trigger, obviously. And the trigger guard pretty much just protects the trigger from being fired on accident or triggered on accident. Right here, we got the pistol grip. This is what you hold the crossbow by. This handle back here is the handle to the self-retracting core tensioner. Now, this is the only crossbow besides the bat reverse that has this loading mechanism. Most loading, most crossbows require a manual caulking of stepping on the stirrup and pulling up the string or cranking it up. On this, all you gotta do is just simply just pull it back and it's cocked just like that. On top of this rail right here, this is a side bridge. This is what you attach your uh, optics to, whether it's a red dot, um, a scope, any optic, this is what you attach it to. Now down here, this little handle is a foregrip. This is what helps you be more stable and just a little more comfortable in shooting it, instead of shooting it like a traditional pistol. You just grab this foregrip, it's a little more stable, just like that. Let's talk about maintenance real quick. Like I mentioned, you want to wax the strings every 20 to 25, 20 to 30 shots, and the rail, you want to lubricate it to um, help with a nice, easy bolt of flight. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so that's the anatomy of the crossbow. Just a quick rundown. It's pretty simple. Once you shoot it a couple times, it's really easy to learn. There's not a huge learning curve. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is this, these little stoppers. Now this is a string stopper. It pretty much just stops the string from going, you know, in further, uh, just, just stops the string. Now let's talk about the bolt uh, or arrow. Now in the crossbow world, these are called bolts, not arrows. This main body, this is the shaft. These are the fletching. This is the knock, and then you got an insert and a um, either a field point or a broadhead. Now with the inserts on these sting bolts, you are able to swap them out for a heavier insert. A heavier insert um, just adds weight and adds to the kinetic energy. It will lose a little bit of speed, but a heavier bolt, more kinetic energy, more oomph, more pass through, just that's what you want for hunting. Now, this is a micro diameter shaft helps with penetration, reduced wind draft, and just a straighter shooting bolt. Back here we got the fletchings. The fletchings help with arrow flight or bolt flight. They stabilize the bolt when it's flying. The knock is what pretty much the string holds the bolt by. Um, there are lighted knocks and then there's these knocks right here. Now this is a half moon knock. There's a few different varieties of knocks, but it just minor details. All right, so very simple, not much to it. Uh, let's talk about how to use the crossbow properly. So to cock it back, I'm just gonna do it like this. It's 130 pound uh, limbs, like I mentioned, and it's a 30 pound draw weight thanks to the cams. Now, if you can't cock it back just like that, you can always step on this uh, front foot stirrup. Now, you can see the crossbow is cocked back. What you want to do is you grab the bolt and you angle it in there and you just slide it in into the groove and under that retention spring. Now I'm not going to fire it in here because I'm in a house right now. So what you would do is you'd hit that safety and when you're ready to shoot, you would hit that trigger. What I'm going to do is show you guys how to unload it. You take out the bolt, right? And you're going to hit this safety. Never ever dry fire a, a, a crossbow. Dry firing pretty much means firing this crossbow without a bolt. What you want to do instead is pointing in a safe direction, take it off safety. Never ever have your fingers on the trigger. 
you're going to pull it back. Instead of pulling it back 100%, you're going to pull it back 97%. Hit that trigger in and release just like that. Pretty dang simple. If you guys want to see more videos on shooting the crossbow, siding it in, and other tips, tricks, different attachments you can add, we got plenty of videos. This video was geared more towards the beginners. If you've never shot a crossbow, these are great crossbows to get started with. Very easy to use, and there's a very minimal learning curve. For more videos, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, like, the, like it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.